What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be making this Zaha poster. Now I made this a few days ago again, you guys really liked it and I thought there's a lot of useful techniques that I can show you within this design. So uh, yeah, basically that's about it. Uh, thank you for all the support on the socials and the TikTok. The TikTok's been blown up recently, we've got quite a few views and stuff. But yeah, this is going to be uh, a little bit of a different video. I'm going to try a new bit of editing style, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of it and uh, yeah, just basically going to try Try something new. So uh, yeah, roll the intro. The first things first, we're going to need to uh, create the background, obviously. So we're just going to go to new document, and then it's just going to present you with the screen. Now it's going to be 1080 by 1350, same as always. Um, but you can make it A4 if you want. Just for the sake of the video, I might change it to A4 just for a change. But yeah, 1350 by 1080 is Instagram standard, so you can use that all this. So make sure it's 300 resolution as well, just to get the best quality. So create new, uh, and yeah, now now we've got the background. So uh, the first thing first, we're going to uh, just get some text. Now we're going to get our text tool. We're going to change it to the impact font. Now this is just going to be pretty simple. Just type Zaha, and then we're just going to scale it up just so it's nice and big. So we want it fairly big, so something like that. And then we're just going to rotate it on its side. Now uh, to get the uh, transform tool, it's just Command T or Control T on a Windows uh, device. And yeah, we can just position it here for now and we're just going to reduce the fill. Now we're going to turn this into a stroke, so I'm going to reduce the fill to zero, double click on it, and then change it to a stroke. Now you can keep it a one or two. I think two's a little bit better for this one, just so you can see it a bit better. But yeah, that, that's pretty pretty much it guys so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get some images so I've got a texture pack link down below for you to download it's got all the assets everything you'll need textures and all that and basically we're just gonna place them in this design so we're gonna go to our texture pack which you will have downloaded you'll see this you can basically turn this layer off or delete it and then you'll be presented with all these little uh, asset things so basically what we're gonna do we're gonna turn them all off and we're just gonna go down to textures first things first we're gonna get textures paper one and we're going to drag it over to here and we're just going to go command T and position it where we think is right so about in the middle that's fine and then we're just going to make sure the opacity is on 20% now 20% is what you need it at because if you put it up really high it just sort of takes over the design and doesn't look great so yeah basically 20% is uh, ideal and it just gives us a bit of scope for what we want to do now next thing we're going to do is go back to the textures and get this paper crease and we're just going to drag and drop it now this will just overlay like it should normally do and you just need to position it into the middle of the design like that and then you're all done with textures we don't need to add anything else so you can just group these together and then that's done now change it to a different color if you want so your textures are all done you can lock that up just so you don't start playing around with it by accident but yeah guys so i just want to talk a little bit about um zaha and a bit of his career so i've, I've always wanted to do a poster on him but basically because he was a Man United player to begin with, I really wasn't a big fan of him because obviously I am a Liverpool fan. But yeah, he moved to Crystal Palace and ever since he's moved there, he's really got his mojo back, I guess you could say. So it's taken him some time. Um, he hasn't been... He's been inconsistent, but he, when it comes to big games against big teams, he always performs for that team. And I'm amazed that he hasn't really been picked up by another team. It's uh, quite impressive actually how they haven't bought him because he's, he's not on high weight Jeeva so uh, yeah I just wonder if maybe in the future he's going to go somewhere bigger but um, let me know what you think in the comments what do you think of Zaha do you think he's a good player bad player or average middle of the road but yeah guys uh, just a little bit of an insight there just thought it might be interesting to talk about because um, he is a very talented footballer and obviously he could have played for England but he uh, got switched up to Ivory Coast I don't know about that if he would have played for England I think he would have been uh, a star really I know we've got quite a talented lineup now but to begin with we did re really didn't have that type of player with the pace and the skill moves so I think he's um, quite a big miss really I know he's getting what is he like 28 now something like that but I think he's quite a big miss considering the type of player he is but yeah guys that's just a short little segment of the video we will uh, carry on designing now so moving on guys we're gonna get an image now we're gonna go to our turn the textures off on the texture pack and then we're just gonna go to images now, there's a few images in here you'll need, but the bottom one is the one we want first. So we're going to go over here, and we're just going to drop it into the design. Now we can scale it up like so, and we just position it where we want it. So that's going to be sort of the ideal place. Now, I'm going to 
probably select um, select this using the quick selection tools select subject like that because it's quite a blurred background so you should be able to do this and yeah it's just going to sort of highlight the area with the marching ants now you can obviously add bits in that you don't want uh, or you want so we'll just select and mask this and we'll see see uh, how it looks now so as you can see in the background it's obviously cut a bit of his hair away now you're never going to get this perfect because Photoshop is just not um, but it's not to be fair it's, it's really good at um, cutting away hair uh, but it's it's never going to be perfect so realistically you're going to want to make sure that um, you uh, sort of pl play around with it yourself sort of get the hair looking how you think you want it just make sure there's no, no harsh harsh edges and stuff just so uh, it gives the um, design a bit of breathing room and yeah we can obviously play around with the tools that we get in here and sort of fill it back in areas that we think should be um, more thick like that so as you can see it's not really that hard it just takes a little bit of time so I'm just gonna do this now and I'll speed it up for you guys so you, it doesn't take too long for you to watch uh, and yeah I'll be right back Okay guys, welcome back. So I have gone through and sort of selected all the things that I feel necessary. So I'm just gonna quickly layer mask that out. And as you can see, when you zoom out, it doesn't really like look too bad when you can like see all the little bits that you're nitty picking at. Um, so it doesn't matter too much about the quality. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna rasterize this layer and we're gonna go apply layer mask and then we're just gonna duplicate this. Now what we're gonna do now is filter of a high pass now if you watch my previous video link in the description um, basically reducing uh, no sorry increasing the uh, uh, style of your image basically making it a higher quality uh, you will know what I'm doing now so if you haven't go watch that and then come back to this video it will help you out a lot with your um, editing skills so we're gonna reduce this down to soft light merge these layers together and then convert this to a smart object always convert it to a smart object otherwise you'll lose quality when you change the size of it so we've got the image now all cut out all done now what we're going to do is go to camera or filter just to edit this specific image and then we go to basic and then we're just going to reduce the saturation down and then we're going to increase the clarity and the contrast you can play around with the shadows and the whites if you want a little bit but yeah that's pretty perfect so uh yeah i'm just going to click ok now there's nothing too serious about it, it's just basically playing around with like reducing saturation and stuff. Uh, but yeah guys, so you can position your image now, get it in line like that, that, look, that looks good, I'm happy with that. And now we're going to go get another image, so we're going to go get this Crystal Palace image. Now this is the stadium obviously, now we can increase the size of this just a little bit and we're going to cut this up. So we're going to get our rectangle marquee tool and then we're just going to cross over the image like that, so there we go and then we're gonna we need to rasterize this layer so we can cut it up so layer via cut all good then we can delete the background and then we're going to convert this to a smart object again and now i'm just going to reduce the size of this now i'm going to have it somewhere around here looks good and then we're going to go again to the same camera or filter you can if you go to filter and then camera or filters here you can just use the same effect on this image um or it, you can do it again so play around with it contrast and stuff do it as you want so that looks good got the image in there now so we've got a few more things to do now we've got to um, put some stars in up on the right we've got to put the Zaha image in at the bottom and we've got a few little add-ons which aren't too major but we can obviously uh, play around with that ourselves and sort of figure out how we want that to look so I'm gonna to go to the text pack as I said before everything is in this text pack that you will need for this design so I'm just gonna show you how I use it and sort of uh, so it should be easier for you so I'm gonna drop this image in gonna make him bigger and we're just gonna have him about here not too big but just so he's in the design like that we can turn him off for now and I'm just gonna go back turn the images off so we got all the images in now and I'm gonna open up the logos pack now this is gonna be quite simple because this is sort of just dragging and dropping things in so what I'm gonna do is get the uh, sticker first now this is something I made myself so hopefully uh, soon when we get probably when we reach about about uh, maybe a thousand subscribers maybe 1500 I'll probably do an assets giveaway so it'll have little things like this stickers and stuff for you to uh, um, or I'll put it on my website hopefully by the time I have a website and you can buy it for a small amount of money so uh, yeah either way um, up to you guys 
but yeah we need to reach that mark first don't we so let's not get ahead of ourselves so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the logo sticker here and i'm going to basically i need to put it below that don't i yeah put it below the image though so we've got the logo sticker here now we're going to put another um logo up here on his shoulder so it should be down here somewhere just called logo we can drag and drop this in like so now I've already reduced the color saturation stuff so you don't need to worry about that for the uh, logo um, Puma and the signature we can bring across too just to get these out the way so we don't have to worry about them later on looks good up there and then we're gonna put the signature over here that looks good now what we need to do now is get the last bit which is the lines over here I'm just gonna drop these in the corner here they look really nice so you can't really see them because they are on a divide um, so it makes them look a bit like reduced saturation and stuff so it's a bit harder to see so now we've got our template pretty much set up so we've got the logo we've got some images in all looking good now what we're gonna do is cut this image out now I'm gonna use the pen tool for this guys so this is gonna take a little bit more time but I suggest you do use the pen tool because it will give you the best effect so I'm gonna do that now uh, and I'll be right back with you Okay guys, so I have cut the image out now. What we're gonna need to do now is probably select it up here where it said selection and just get the marching ants on the screen. So I haven't cut this out perfectly as I did before, um, just because basically, well, I mean, I'm not going to, uh, to be honest, I'm not. I'm, I'm, it's a video, I'm not gonna focus too much on it. If I was doing it for a client though, I would have taken my time a lot more and just make sure like everything looks professionally done. Like obviously there's little bits here and stuff, but that won't matter too much in a minute. What we're gonna do is we are going to paste back in the background. So let's say you've got the ball cut out. So like so, uh, let's just get it all in again like we did just a minute ago. The whole ball is in front of you. So this is an easy way to just to lay a mask it out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our ellipse marquee tool. I'm gonna go into the middle of the ball, hold alt, and just scale it out. Now you can obviously move this around a little bit. So it's in position like that. And then what we're gonna do is we are just going to layer mask everything. Okay, so that'll be in the, uh, the middle. So we're gonna go Command Shift I or Control Shift I. So then it inverts the mask so you can paint outside. So we're gonna undo that and then we're gonna change our color and we're just gonna go around the edge and make sure the ball looks really like just crisp. So there you go. That's that done, the ball's cut out. Sorry that took a bit longer, I was just trying to remember how I did it. Um, so, let's be all right. And then we're gonna go back to our brush that I had a minute ago and have it on black so we get the grass. And we're just gonna sort of, you know, paint a rough little setting of grass, I guess you could say. Now you can obviously uh, just get like, go back around with a white brush and sort of cut edges off just to make it look a bit better, stuff like that. It's nothing too serious, just to give it some more texture, you know. But that looks really good. So obviously we can cut his foot out a little bit better, um, just just to because obviously it's a bit blurred. Um, but yeah, apart from that, really, guys, there's not a lot more you can do um, to get this design looking good. Let's just do that. Sorry, this is just a really annoying, tedious bit that's bugging me. So let's just get rid of that on the sock. There we go. We can get rid of it on the studs here, like that. I mean that that's fine for now I don't really care about that um yeah it's sort of blends in anyway so ideally though guys when you are doing these posters try find an image where his foot isn't blurred because I mean it would help a lot uh, considering I'm being an idiot and using one but yeah so rasterize the layer so you can apply the layer mask to it so it's all cut out and done that looks good and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to fill oh, actually no we're gonna duplicate this command J then we go to filter other high pass and then we're just gonna again use soft light to make the design crisper and then merge them together convert to a smart object and there we go so we have the image done now I'm just gonna move this uh, signature up a little bit guys just because it's behind his finger and it's just not meant to be there again this is positioning for you so we'll just move him down a little bit like so there we go and now what we're gonna do is add the same camera or filter that we did with the other images just to keep it all in unison so clarity contrast Bring the highlights up a bit just so it helps to see his face 
there we go something like that and then we convert to smart object it's all done now guys it's looking a lot like the design that i showed you earlier isn't it so we've got all that done uh we all we need to do now is add the stars in and add the black line down the side here and a camera or filter and we'll be done so go to your textures shut the logos down wilfred is going to be the black lines so we're going to drag and drop this in uh, along the side here there we go and we're just going to position this click OK. So that's added into the design. Nothing too major there. That's pretty easy to make. It's just text duplicated and then a black background. Uh, and then the stars I've got here all set up. Um, but I'll just take one star just so I can show you how I did it. Basically the stars, let's just move them below his face down here. Okay. So I basically downloaded a star off the internet. So if I just increase the fill, it's a black star and then I reduced the fill and then added a stroke in the blending options. And then I did this. So I duplicated it. Um, just moved it around, scaled it down a little bit. Sort of, I sort of tried to follow um, uh, the the pattern he has on his neck here, but it doesn't really matter too much if it's not the same. To be honest, it's just sort of, it's just a nice little effect to add in, isn't it? Um, so don't worry if you don't have it exactly the same. But yeah, I'm just gonna move them around, scale them down, just so it looks a bit different um and not so so the same because you don't want all the stars looking the same because that looks just look weird so yeah we've added the black line in the stars now we all we need to do is do a camera or filter so uh yeah guys i hope you're enjoying the video so far if you are hit the like button obviously um it really helps out the channel and yeah let's move on so command shift option e to make a screenshot or control shift option e if you're on a windows so we've got the screenshot and then we're going to go to camera or raw filter um and yeah guys this isn't you don't have to do much here so what we're going to do is sort of increase the exposure a little bit contrast up and then we're going to go highlights shadows maybe a little bit darker whites up and then texture increase clarity increase and then saturation don't need to bother with curves you can play around with a little bit like that and then sharpening gonna want to ramp that up a lot just to make it look a lot better there we go oh is it, did i do the texture yeah i did do texture okay um and then we're going to go down to grain add a 30 percent grain and maybe a little vignette just to bring the texture back in like so and it's really good so as you can see guys if i just do the difference maker it's not a lot different it's just a lot more contrasting and uh, high quality obviously but yeah that's uh, that's all it is to this poster design so i'm just gonna click ok and there we go guys so uh, hopefully you've enjoyed the video a bit different this time a bit new new effects added in hopefully um and yeah hopefully you've enjoyed it so if you have leave a like and obviously let me know in the comments what you want to see because obviously not a lot of you comment anymore so i just want to see some comments and stuff from you guys just to let me know what you think of the video what you want to see more of and just basically that's about it really um so hopefully you have enjoyed the video and i'll see you next time